Pre-Tax USA is a great bargain tax software that you might be considering to file your tax returns with. It's not a perfect solution, but there are some notable features and drawbacks you'll want to stick around. I'll be highlighting that in this video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with the College Investor Investing and Personal Finance for Millennials. It's that time again. It's time for tax season software hunting. And in this video, we are highlighting Free Tax USA. So first things first, is Free Tax USA really free? Well, what's in a name? It says it's free. Federal filing is definitely free when it comes to Free Tax USA. However, you are going to be paying $14.99 per state filing, and now it's not free at all. <laughs> so if you're just wanting to file your federal return, yes, you can do that easily with this software. However, you will be paying 15 bucks for your state return. All right, so what's new in 2022 with Free Tax USA? So they've showed some marked improvements in their system navigation. So they blend the Q&A with some menu navigation as well, which can help you stay guided as you are going through the different subsections of your tax return, but also guide you through some tricky parts. In fact, I wanna show you inside of the dashboard to show you exactly what it looks like so you can figure out whether this tax software is right for you. So this is what Free Tax USA looks like on the inside and you'll see up at the top they have this main header navigation where you can easily go through each section of your tax return and see what has been completed and what still needs to be filled out. And you're going to do this in sequential order, meaning that you can't jump ahead to the miscellaneous section before you complete income and before you complete deductions and credits. So last where I left off as I was testing this was the itemized deduction section and I actually clicked on standard deduction. So let's see, what if I just wanna take my standard deduction? You don't have to enter any itemized deductions, just skip the itemized deduction screen by clicking continue. So this is one of the notable features of Free Tax USA, where they blend the question and answer guidance with some menu selection navigation. But sometimes there is kind of these abrupt transitions. And so I'm going directly into kind of the itemized deductions. So I'm just going to click continue. And it can be kind of clunky if you're not sure what you're doing. Also, remember that this entire platform is free to file your federal return. However, if you're going to do the state return, then it's going to cost you $14.99. But what I like about Free Tax USA is they have these really clean summaries at the end of each section so that you can see, okay, this is what my standard deductions are. These are some of the things that I noted as I was filling things out. And so it keeps it very clean. Likewise, I can go back to my income summary and then I can take a look here and see all of the different forms and sections within the income subsection. And that way it keeps everything tidy and organized inside of the dashboard. However, if you are feeling a little unsure, if you are filling things out correctly, or if you have questions, if you click up here in the upper right hand menu, you can click on live chat. Now this is an added feature for $6.99. You get the live chat audit assist, which is really nice just in case that happens. But if you want more support, you can actually upgrade to the pro support for $24.99, which includes all of that. But then you get tax advice from from a CPA. So these are added features that I think you'll want to take note of if you are considering Free Tax USA, but there are some notable drawbacks. And one of the first things I want to show you is the W-2 portion. Now this is just one portion. If I wanted to add a W-2, I have to manually enter 
all of this information, which can be extremely time consuming. Other software has the automatic import feature. And so if I was considering my time when it comes to filing my my return, I would want to make sure that I was using a software where I could automatically import some of my tax documents so it could save me the headache of punching something in incorrectly. Now, if I'm going back through my return and going through all of these different sections, if you're a first time tax filer or first time using Free Tax USA, you might be confused that you have to actually fill out all of these sections because of the way that it's put together here. So if you don't have a health savings account, if you don't have qualified adoption expenses, you don't have to fill this out. You can actually click continue, but it's not straightforward to say you actually don't have to fill that out unless you are actually reading the fine print here. <laughs> Click on any deduction or credit that may apply to you, but I almost wish this was a little bit more guided than showing this kind of menu of things to click on. So that can be confusing and kind of a drawback of their system. But if you know what you're doing when it comes to filing your tax return, then you might want to consider Free Tax USA on your short list. You can see everything is very clean and simple. I also like how the federal refund or federal amount owed will update here in the corner to help you kind of see where you're at in the process. So that's a quick overview of what it looks like inside of the dashboard. Free Tax USA is a great blend of quality and cost. So if you don't qualify for the completely free filing with another software, then this might actually be a good option for you. You just have to decide whether manually putting in all of your tax document numbers is actually going to be worth the headache for you or not. If you want to check out complete tax software reviews in 2022, be sure to check out all of our reviews at thecollegeinvestor.com.